All right, good news. Another day, <laughs> I got the gas. So drained all the gas out last night. Obviously couldn't find gas because of the gas crisis, but I got gas today. So we're gonna put gas in it. We're gonna run it, heat it up, get the oil thinned out, and then start the oil draining process while I work on other things, such as the handlebars that I gotta take off. What's nifty about this new guy is it's got a little temperature gauge on it so I can kind of see when it's running up to correct oil temp. So I might go ahead and install that and replace the broken one. Uh, so when I'm running it, I can keep track on the oil temperature, see if it works. Let's put some gas in this and uh, get it running for a bit. Piss my neighbors off for a minute. These Vance and Hines pipes are gonna be probably annoying for a minute. Also, don't make fun of me. I still don't have the hose thing for the gas can. So I'm gonna be pouring in a funnel. You know, it's like the little nozzle. It didn't, I didn't get it with the can. I just got the can. I didn't get the hose. I got to order the hose, but then I don't know if I get one with the ball valve on it or if I just get a normal hose and they say they break. So you might have to buy multiple just in case it breaks. I don't know. Got to get a hose. Not a priority. Haven't got it yet. Let's get gas in the bike and get it running. Okay, we got the oil draining looking dark, looking like it needs to be changed. So while that's draining, I'm gonna go ahead and do the handlebars. So let's take these handlebars off. Also, I don't know why my GoPro is just not working anymore. So this footage is gonna be intermittent with my phone. Here we go. Get to go. All right, we got the bars off, so the next thing we need to do is check and see if they're bent like we suspect. I uh, also brought my bars from, or my old bars, I should say, from my soft tail, because they're essentially the same bar. So if one's bent, we'll use the other. And I just wanted to test both of them just for safety. So let's take a look. Okay, here's the two bars. These are the bars off my soft tail, and these are the bars off the sporty. So I got the flattest, levelest surface I could think of, which is my kitchen island, to test this out. Now, the way you test bars for bends is a little trick. You have to hold down pressure on the riser point and then see if both handlebars still touch the surface. So let's get down low and see what we found out with these bars. All right, so these are the Sportster bars. We have theories of these being bent, so let's take a look at how bent or if they are bent. So we'll take them, firmly hold the riser point, put the bar down. So we can see we got a little bit of a gap. So they are slightly bent. I don't know if you can see that. That's um a little bit bent, but not significant enough, I don't think. 
I mean, any bend is significant. I shouldn't say that. But if we hold at the riser points, looks like we got about an eighth of an inch. All right, and here are the bars for my soft tail. Now, I don't think they're bent. They shouldn't be bent. They didn't feel bent when I was riding, but who knows? I got some handlebars here that came off my soft tail that I know are straight. Let's take a look. Hold the riser point. Ooh. That looks more like a quarter inch. Goodness gracious. They shouldn't be any bad, <laughs> but it looks like the soft tail bars might be a little bit worse off than the sporty bars are, so. That you know, and they ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. The sporty bars are going back on. In the meantime, I'll try to find some unbent bars, hopefully, but these will ride for now. Back on the bike. Okay, so now that we know that the bars aren't really bent or not really that bent, um, definitely not as bent as the soft tail bars. So we're gonna go ahead and put those bars back on the bike. Cool, here we go. Okay, that's gonna do it for today's episode. We got the handlebars back on. So what we have left to do is the spark plugs, oil, get this thing started up and see how she runs. Catch you in the next one. Thanks guys.